In this video, we're going to go over how to add plot stakes or plot boundaries using pre-recorded lat and long coordinates. So in this example, we've got a field trial where a grower has put out uh, two different treatments. So we've got treatment one, which is the grower standard practice, and treatment two, which is a new practice. Could be a different fertilizer practice or population or a new crop additive or whatever. Uh, and we've got a little plot map showing how they were put out in the field. So you can see we've got rep one where both of those treatments have been applied. And we've also got rep two where both those treatments were applied again, but randomized or put in reverse order. Again, because we don't have an as applied layer to guide us to collect our yield monitor data within each plot, we're going to rely on pre recorded lats and longs for the plot stakes that were out in the field. So we've got an example down here of uh, information for each of the four plots. And then we've also got a lat and a long for each of those four stakes that were in the field. And we're going to use those as new points to guide us to collect the yield, mo yield monitor harvest data. So if we go back into our uh, yield monitor layer, in order to do that, we're going to have to create a new layer. So we will go to new shapefile layer. Of course, we want to put points down. So this is going to be a, a points layer. We're going to call this layer plot stakes. We also have some, some options to add new fields or attributes for these points as well. Stock, it comes with a, an attribute or field called ID, which allows you to enter integers up to a length of 10 different numbers. In this case, that'll probably be fine, but just uh, as a backup, I'm gonna add a new field that allows us to put in uh, text data, which is essentially numbers or letters or symbols. I'm just gonna call this plot labels, and we'll leave it at, uh, at 80. So we can enter up to 80 different characters for these plot labels. I'm gonna select add to fields list, and now we've got two different options to label these plots with. I'm gonna select okay. And now we're able to start adding points manually using pre-recorded coordinates at this level. So to do this, we're going to have to use the numerical digitized plugin that we've covered in a previous video. Uh, but of course, before I can select on that, I'm going to have to toggle editing for this layer to allow us to actually edit things on this layer. So I'll select the toggle editing icon. Then I'm going to go on the numerical digitize icon. And as you can see, this allows us to enter a new lat and a new long for to manually enter uh, coordinates for new points. So I'm going to go on lat and enter in the latitude for this point that was pre-recorded. I'm going to go on the long section and enter the longitude for this point that was pre-recorded as well. And I'm going to select OK. You can see now it wants us to enter values for either ID or plot label. I'm going to go in plot label. And of course, this is our first plot stake for our first plot 101. So I'm just going to enter 101 and then select OK. You can see now that that plot has logged exactly where at least the coordinates were for our stake 101. So you essentially repeat this process for all four of the stakes in this field here. Um, I will do so using the magic of film. And with the snap of my fingers, you can see we have all four plot stakes now labeled on this layer. Uh, in essence, I really just repeated that exact same step an additional three times, but uh, didn't want to have to bore you through the details for me manually entering in lats and longs for all of those points. So at this point, we can go in and actually start to change things around for the display of those points. So. Right now they're purple circles. I'd rather change them to something that's going to stand out a little bit more. So like we've done before in previous videos for changing yield monitor points, we'll go to our plot stakes layer. We'll right click and go to properties. And symbology again is where we go to actually change the, the appearance of the points. And I'm going to change them to red diamonds. And I'm also going to try making them just a little bit bigger. So let's see how that looks. I'll try apply and I'm pretty good with that, right? That's uh, should stand out fairly obviously and uh, it's larger than our lat long points and it's pretty clear to see. 
So I'm going to leave them at that as uh, as symbols for our our lots or symbols for our plot stakes. Now the one thing that is nice is know actually what those plots are and what they represent. So the last thing I'm going to do is actually enable labels. So the labels will just be the the plot numbers that we entered in before. And similar process. I'm going to go back to our plot stakes layer. I'm going to right click, go to properties, and I'm going to go to labels. So right now you can see the default is no labels. I'm going to go to single labels and select which value you want. So again, when I was entering labels for those plot stakes, I was always entering in labels for the plot label attribute. So I'll select plot label for the value. And these are all just default values. So I'm just going to click apply and see how things look. So they're not bad. I might make them uh, might make them bold just to stand out a little bit more. And I'll maybe make them just a little bit bigger as well to be a little bit more obvious. So there's labels for each of the four stakes that represent the plot stakes in this research trial. I'll hit OK. And now you can see we've got four stakes in the field with labels beside them as well. And you can see the corresponding combine strips representing those plots that we will uh, eventually pull out for yield. So in this video we've gone over how to add plot stakes or other pre-recorded coordinates to the fields or our plots to guide us for pulling out combine yield monitor data. Well, we've quickly shown how to change the appearance of those symbols for those plot stakes and how to add labels to those plot stakes as well.